Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days. And I can tell you it's a bit it's a bit warm in here today. It's a little bit, you know, it's a bit hot. I think it must be the um Harlem heat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Mattel figure review for Harlem Heat. I'm so excited to have this tag team in the collection. I didn't think we would get a Harlem Heat uh, tag team, but we've got Booker T. Uh, and he's in his June 1996 ring attire. Stevie Ray, who is also in his June 1996 ring attire, which is a wonderful coincidence because they go lovely together. Look at that. We've got Harlem Heat, um, massive tag team from WCW. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Harlem Heat. We're obviously going to have a look at the figures, but I am very excited about these. Thought we'd put them in the same review. Makes sense, doesn't it? Um, I can tell you that they made their debut 1989. Uh, when they debuted, they were known as the uh, Huffman Brothers. I believe that's their real name. Um, they signed with WCW uh, in the early 90s and uh, they were in, I think I'm right in saying September 1993, uh, one of the biggest matches in WCW history. It was the War Games match uh, and it was the same War Games match that featured the Shockmaster. Obviously we did a full video on all of that because this year's San Diego Comic Con exclusive was the Shockmaster who is right there on the shelf. Um, pride of place, one of my favourite figures. Um, they went on to become 10 time WCW Tag Team Champions. They beat the likes of the Steiners, um, Lex Luger and Sting, uh, Bam Bam Biglio and Canyon. Uh, and they, they went on into like the 2000s. I can tell you that they were managed by Sister Sherry and Jacqueline, but it was when they added Midnight to the equation that things started to go sour. Booker T, was a big fan of uh, Midnight. She was like a female bodybuilder. Stevie Ray wasn't. And uh, there was actually a match between Stevie Ray and Midnight um, to see if she could stay in the group or not. Midnight won with like a small package kind of roll up. And uh, that was it. You know, Stevie Ray turned on Booker T, turned on Midnight and the group split. They reformed in like 2015 for like a one-off match. Um, but yeah, that was it. They were done. Uh, Booker T goes on to have one of the best singles career. Um, I mean, he wins the World Heavyweight Championship, the WCW Championship, Intercontinental Championship. He's uh, 2013 WWE Hall of Fame inductee. I think he's like a six-time TV, WCW TV champion as well. Uh, Stevie Ray... Um, obviously has those WCW Tag Team Championship reigns and I think he's a, a one-time uh, WCW TV champion as well but uh, sadly nothing compared to what Booker T goes on to uh, achieve um, but PWI named them Tag Team of the Year in 1995 and 1996 they really are one of the most iconic tag teams in wrestling history so really excited that's just a little bit a little bit about Harlem Heat I mean we could sit here for hours talking about them as we said this is their ring attire from June 1996 that's the the front of the packaging and then we've got a very moody looking Booker T on the back of the packaging there um, really really cool images and uh, it says Stevie Ray, 6'5", 292 pounds from Harlem. Signature move, bicycle kick, high knee, inverted atomic drop. Uh, other ones in the series, Cena, that amazing Finn Balor. Sheamus, Rusev, and obviously Booker T. And then uh, Booker T, 6'3", 250 pounds from Harlem. The axe kick is his signature move. And then all of those uh, career highlights that we mentioned. Comes with some more uh, diorama bits as well. Um, so we'll have to look at that when we open it up. Pictures on the side. Uh, a little bit different to the picture on the back for Booker T. Uh, I think it's the same picture for Stevie Ray. Poor Stevie Ray doesn't even get a different picture on the side of his packaging. But uh, yeah, really smart. Let's get it open. Let's have a look at the figures. Okay guys, so got the figures out. We've got Booker T here. 
and we've got Stevie Ray on this side. There's no real surprises on the back. Some lovely detail on the boots though. I mean, can you see the flames there uh, on the side of Stevie Ray's? And different kind of flames on um, Booker T, um, which is really smart. As I said, nothing uh, too surprising. I don't think this top comes off. Does it come off? Does it come off? Might come off. I honestly don't know if this top comes off or not. It looks like it's got some kind of clasp on the back. I, I think it does, you know. I think that does come off. So I think you could probably remove this top bit. Uh, I'm going to leave it on for now because to tell the truth, these figures come with a lot of accessories. If you can remove this top, then I would class that as an accessory. You've also got these uh, hats that you can remove as well. So you get those as accessories. Not only that, you get replacement hats, which you can pop on. Um, and so you get those as different kind of accessories as well. And then not only that, you get like these really tiny shades. I don't know if you can make that out or not, but you get some glasses as well, which let's pop, pop some on there. And I've got some here for... Booker! King Booker! Well, this isn't King Booker, this is just Booker, but... Oh man, these won't go on his head. King Booker's got... It's not King Booker, I don't know why I keep saying King Booker. Uh, Booker's got a massive head. So there they are with the shades on and the other uh, replacement uh, headwear. And, and, and honestly, I think these figures are great. Um, so those are the other hats as we said I think the face scans on these are really strong I think the attire is really bright vibrant I think they were a very dominant tag team um, I think as you said you know I think the body types really cool I think the detail on the figures are really cool uh, I suppose the only downside for me anyway is that they've come as like two elites I believe it or not would have preferred this as a battle pack um, I think I could have done without some of the accessories and uh, I think this is a lot of money you know they're 19 pounds each in the UK that means that for these two figures you're paying 38 pounds which is a lot of money for a tag team the you know kind of a lot of people don't even know about I don't think that's unfair I know they achieved a lot but they achieved a lot in WCW which is a promotion which just you know, isn't running anymore. And uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure if the kids today really know who Harlem Heat are. This is one for collectors. This is one for fans of 90s wrestling, which I am. And uh, so I absolutely love these. Um, but a battle pack for £20 might have made a little more sense. They certainly would have sold more. Um, and uh, yeah, personally, I don't feel that I need the articulation that they give i'm criticizing these figures for being too good just going to marginally mark them down because they've been released as two elites for collectors these are ty dillingers for you know fans today that maybe don't know who they are i think you're getting two great figures here guys i really do i think this is worth the money um but you've just just got to ask yourself if you don't know who Harlem Heat are, if you don't know who Stevie Ray is in particular, I mean, like, everyone's going to love Booker because Booker's still on TV. Um, but is it worth it for you? And for that reason, just going to take a shade off, take it down to nine, strong nine. Um, but these are great figures with great accessories. Awesome guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found that informative. Uh, please give the video a like if you liked it. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you again next time. From me and the Harlem Heat. Bye for now. I need to try and do this without knocking their glasses off. Yeah, okay, that's gone all right. That's gone all right. Thanks guys. See you next time.